Hi guys. Um, so our next exercise um, is going to be some Aishapes. So I'm just going to give you a fun combination that you can do um, just to practice obviously your Aishapes, um, but it's also great for building strength and endurance. Um, so like I said, I don't have point shoes, um, but you'll get the gist of it. Okay, so we're going to start in... Um, well, I guess you don't really need to see my face, so it's okay. Um, we're going to start in our fifth position with our right leg forward. Um, and then our arms are just going to be in second the whole time just to focus on um, strength with our legs. Um, so just make sure you're holding them out in second and that they're not doing any of this flopping. So we need to make sure we connect them to our back um, and keep those elbows lifted. Yeah? So this is their placement and they don't move the whole time. Um, so with that being said, we're just going to do... A chape, change ma, a chape, change ma, a chape, change ma, su su. Right, so when we do that su su, we make sure our butt isn't sticking out, that it's tucked under, um, and that there's no space between um, the legs or the ankles. So we pull it in and then down. And then we do that again. A chape, change ma, a chape, change ma, a chape, change ma, su su. Um, and after we do it, do that twice. So three a chapeys, one su su, three a chapeys, one su su. Um, our right leg is in the front. So we're going to plie and then a chape to fourth. So we a chape to fourth, back to fifth, to second, back to fifth. Then our hips are facing the other corner to do fourth and then back to fifth. Yeah. And then, so it's fourth, fifth, second, fifth, fourth, fifth. Um, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and let's end that with a susu as well. So we go fourth, second, fourth, susu. Um, and let me just make sure that's okay with the music, just to give you a sense of what it's gonna be like. Right here. So a chape, a chape, a chape, susu, a chape, a chape. A chape, su su, and fourth, second, up, and then go back the other way. Um, and then you can start it all over again and do it twice in a row, um, which is what I suggest um, for building that strength. So it'll be on the same side. So a chape, a chape, a chape, su su, a chape, a chape, a chape, su su, and then fourth, fifth, second, fifth, fourth, fifth, su su, and then go back the other way, the same way you came, fourth second, uh, uh, fourth again, and then susu, and then done. Um, and you can repeat the combination right away. Um, so that is what I'm going to demonstrate um, and what you guys are gonna do along with me. Um, so a couple of things to keep in mind um, with a combination like this where it's quick feet, which I know from seeing your dance that you have a lot of quick feet, um, you need to make sure that you're engaging the correct muscles. And so make sure that during your warm up, um, or if you do, um, you know, when we're doing some plies and just different strengthening exercises that you really engage the backs of those legs, which are gonna pull you up um, and you must, must, must engage that core. Um, I think I had used the analogy of like when you're trying to pick up a child who's like, doesn't wanna be picked up and they kinda just go limp and it's like, they make them like feel so much heavier. Um, but when someone is like, wants to be picked up, right? A kid can feel super light when they want to be picked up because they're helping you, right? So help yourself get up onto point and help yourself have those quick feet. Um, by engaging all those muscles, it's super, super, super important. Um, so while we're doing this combination, I want you to think about really pulling up in those lower, lower abdominals and turning out those legs and really supporting yourself um, with all those muscles. Um, again, keeping those arms still. We do not want arms that just fly with the wind, right? We want them to be anchored to our back, um, pushing those shoulders down, lifting the elbows up with the palms forward. Um, and then, yeah, be careful of where your gaze is. Um, don't be concentrating so hard that you're looking down. Um, keep the chin lifted and the chest open and lifted. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I got. So let's go ahead and do the combination and see how it goes. Six, seven, eight. And again,
So go ahead, stretch it out, give yourself a break, and then try it again. Um, if there's any technical details that you um, need to work on, like maybe you can feel that your core isn't engaged, maybe you can tell that your arms weren't going, um, or you're having trouble getting up onto your box, I would, um, you know, obviously if you're tired, um, that's a reason for it, um, like I am. Um, but, um, yeah, so just go back, maybe do some more strengthening exercises, which is going to be super important for you guys to do over the summer, as I'm sure Miss Tracy has already um, mentioned and reiterated that, you know, you don't want to lose your point um, work because we only have four weeks when you guys come back um, to really, um, you know, get the choreography together and, and put that, um, put your piece together before going on stage. So there's no time to kind of gain back that strength. Um, so be working on that strength, be doing your a um, and practicing them. All right.